back with another tea haul, but to be honest, this was all supposed to be one video, and then this half of the order, which it's from a different company, so two separate orders technically, but I thought they were gonna arrive somewhere in the vicinity of each other, and then they didn't, so I'm just doing it as two separate ones. So anyway, remember how I got a bunch of the seasonal Twinings tea ones with the other order? I also got pretty much the entire line of Bigelow's um, seasonal teas, which included having to do some overlap to be able to get all eight of them, but if you want to buy an individual flavor from the Bigelow's website, they make you buy a case of it, which I find ridiculous, and I was not about to buy a case of every single one of these, because a case is six boxes to a case, and... Six times eight, that's an awful lot of tea in really just novelty flavors, so yeah, no. So I emailed them and I asked them what they felt my best option would be, and they pointed me to the direction of the multi-packs and the sampler packs and everything, and pointed out that if you combine this, this, and this, you can get all the flavors. There will be a little bit of overlap, it'll be a lot less than if you try to buy them individually. So that is what I did. So anyway... I got this pack of three, which has got Peppermint Bark. I'm super excited for that one. I wish this has been one of the ones with overlap, but it's one of the ones that there wasn't with, I don't think. There's Ginger Snappish, which also very excited about. And Eggnoggin, which I'm a little bit iffy on how that sounds. It could be good, it could be gross, but I feel like it has a fair shot at being good because the Tazo chi uh, tea in vanilla chai, or vanilla caramel chai, for some reason, smells like eggnog. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it does, so that's a thing. I also got another three-pack, which I already ripped into because I could not resist. Like, upon the second I got it, I had to open this bad boy up. This one has, and the one that I already opened and made a mess of the box because I'm smooth like that, is their pumpkin spice flavor. This one there is overlap with, so I'm super happy about that. There's also, I'll just pull these out of the pack, apple cider, which I'm very excited about. And then the one that I'm iffy with from this one that if I don't end up liking, I'm probably going to give it to Kimmy. It's salted caramel. It's one of those things that's like, it could be good, it could be gross, it could be somewhere in between. I don't really know. As long as it's drinkable, I'll keep drinking it, but if I just can't, it'll probably go to her. So anyway, that's that set of three. And then there's the big box with six in it that I got. Because clearly. And this was like embarrassing because the only way to get this one was as a gift pack. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that off the front because it just looks awkward. All right, we have six of them here. We have White Chocolate Obsession, which is right here. Sweetheart Cinnamon, which if it tastes anything like Red Hot's, oh my freaking God, I'm going to love it. And then there's dupes of Apple Cider, Pumpkin Spice, Eggnog, and Ginger Snappish, which those are all good as far as I know, with the exception of possibly Eggnog, and so it's like, you know, I can live with that. That's not so bad for overlap. I can live with that. Pick these back up and put them back over. The Leaning Tower of Tia. Okay, that was lame. Anyway, and then one that wasn't technically a purchase, but my sister's friend gave this to her saying, I bought this, but I forgot I don't like tangerine, so you can have it. So she took it and then she looked at it and realized it has a crap ton of caffeine in it and she's pregnant right now, so she can't drink it. So she gave it to me and it's an almost full box still. I mean, there's a few taken out of it, but practically a full box for free of Yogi Tea, which they're really good. So I'm like, score! So there's that. And then one additional one that I just got from the store the other day is another Twinings. This one's just herbal tea. It's just lemon and ginger, which I've had before, but will get a proper review. And I always try to keep at least one box of this on hand at all times. So anyway, that is what I got for basically the rest of the tea haul. This is essentially part two to the other one, but this is the rest of it, and proper reviews of these will start shortly. So I'm looking forward to making those, and hopefully some of you guys will be looking forward to watching them. So anyway, until next time, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Uh, leave comments down below. Until next time.